So hello everyone and uh, welcome to yet another episode of Face to Face with Toppers. We have with us Dr. Pushkar Palli uh, who is a 2021 AIMS topper and uh, in ESS uh, rank 3. Uh, I had found that this sessions were useful for those who were preparing very motivating and very informational. So we expect uh, Dr. Pushkar to give his inputs uh, to the future aspirants. So Pushkar uh, introduce yourself and uh, tell us more about you. Sure, sir. Uh, thanks for the very uh, nice introduction. So, I uh, just uh, completed my MD General Medicine from uh, Government Kilpark Medical College uh, this uh, this August, and I had given the July AIM session as well as the uh, December uh, INES session, and I had got AIMS uh, rank four in the July session in 2021, and uh, my AIMS rank was one. in this december in ess and my common merit list was rank 3 and i have not new since i think more than uh, one one, uh, one and a half the, years <laughs> i think 20 2020 yeah. september sir so yeah the yeah when, the time when i started this i think you were second year during that time ah uh, yeah i was just entering my final year so i think i think the first message i sent you was uh, sir is harrison enough to get uh, yeah. to crack me with this and then you were like no no you need to read bradley Yeah. So first time I knew there was a book called Bradley only because of you sir. Oh. Right. So that time I used to keep reading it so that's the first time September 9th 2020 is the first time I think this book. Definitely want to say this I am a great fan of your father. So I know your father before you so your like last name na that made me realize that you are related to sir. Sir is a great neurologist. Uh, so I used to see him in conferences. Uh, so I was mesmerized with the way he talked, asked doubts and all. So great fan of your father. So definitely that is the legacy you are following. So yeah, definitely. That's why I am telling this in this video. Nah, <laughs> Pushkar, uh, tell me like, where did you do your MBBS? Because uh, these are things very important. Yeah. Yeah, I will sir. So I did my MBBS in a private college, sir, in Chennai. Okay. So I am 2012 batch. Okay. Uh, Chitnad Medical College, and I had completed my internship in Feb 2018. Okay. And I was lucky enough to clear NEET PG in the in my during my internship, and then I joined uh, Government Kilpark uh, Medical College. MD. And again lucky to join again DM now. So I think uh, God has been very kind to me. No, like luck favors only those who work hard. That's the one more thing. <laughs> so don't tell lucky, lucky every time. And uh, so, uh, when did you actually start your preparation? Like, it was it during your? I know you started during your second year MD. The time you uh, messaged me and called me and all. But did you start before you know, that uh, during your MD uh, first year and all? Or not really, sir. Actually, in my first year of MD, I was like uh, pretty much just trying to survive. So I had done my UG in a private college. It was uh, doing PG in a government college was like a very new experience, something that it took time for me to adapt to. And second year I was like more of preparing for my RCP exam, sir. Okay. So in second year I was more of uh, I had given my MRCP part one and part two. Okay. And towards the end of my second year and uh, and when I was going to final year, sir, that period I had, uh, you know, I thought uh, okay, let's start preparing for DM neuro. So the first person I had spoken to regarding this was you, sir. So. Yeah. I remember the first question sir is Harrison enough <laughs> I think that's how I got into your group and uh, yeah so been the first, since finally sir to the uh, start of finally you know once the covid had started and uh, I had some free time during my quarantine period so okay. that's when I had started to yeah. so did your father influence you in becoming a neurologist for uh, neuro he's surely my source of I I saw that uh, he has a degree in Uh, he has an LLB. He has a degree in music. He has a degree in uh, astrology. Uh, yes, so he's a learner. Yeah, I think he has. I think he's addicted to reading. Reading. But I don't think I'm going to give any exams. Of this. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much done. So I think this is my last uh, exam. Now you have attained success in uh, in ESS. Uh, what do you think was the change in the pattern when you wrote this exam? The current in ESS pattern is a paradigm shift from the the July AIM session, sir. So since AIMS is conducting the exam, I think most of us would have uh, expected the paper to be a predominant neurology paper. But uh, surprisingly, it was around uh, around I think 70% was neuro, sir. 30% was general medicine. So the important take-home message is general medicine is very important. It should go, uh, it should parallel your uh, neurology preparation. Maybe not at such a depth, but uh, enough so that you at least you you know like you're able to at least attend those uh, general medicine questions. There wasn't much of pediatrics, so unlike unlike NEET yeah. SS, 
there wasn't much of pediatrics i don't know if it will be so the next time but uh, there were no pediatric questions the non neurology questions were uh, all from general medicine so since you brought up the topic of medicine while writing a neurology exam regarding the medicine yeah. part of neurology yeah. uh, so what is your suggestion to those uh, students as per sir uh, just sticking to harrison should be enough sir whatever said and done uh, the your performance in neurology will translate to your rank your general medicine you should not do badly in general medicine at least you should be able to answer at least uh, at least half of them at least half to three quarter of them should you should be able to attend this basic general medicine sir you know like just harrison the harrison flow chart tables uh, just keep the general medicine preparation simple but don't avoid it on a don't totally avoid it that's a very bad idea just uh, you know like keep in touch with it but still uh, your prime focus should be on neurology for those preparing so i think for nss for those who are very uh, hell bent on joining central institutes yeah arsen bradley that should be your uh, primary study material yeah and uh, keep your general medicine preparation simple from harrison okay avoid uh, avoid multiple sources you know just keep the general medicine part simple yeah a textbook should be harrison it harrison should be, harrison. should be your bible yes. then uh, follow that Uh, with other yes. books how do you like advise them to read regarding like doing solving the mocks during this and uh, end, uh, end of the stage preparation the initial periods of uh, preparation so this is uh, mainly directed to final year pgs who are probably just started their preparation now first acquire the knowledge you know just do harrison go through uh, the neurology section in harrison start reading bradley see it's not possible to completely read bradley we know bradley is the important topics like cerebral vascular disorders then dementia uh, headache disorders parkinsons you know the core the core neurology especially the tables those are all uh, high yield mcqs that is a must so once you have you know like done acquiring uh, the information from the textbooks side by side just make sure that you make notes towards the end of your preparation avoid reading lot of theory so finally it's a competitive exam and mcq based exam you're not going to you're not it's not a theory exam you know so you should be working out more mocks in your last 2 to 3 months before the exam whereas in your initial phase you know like if you probably started now you should be reading your textbooks don't be reading lot of textbooks towards end you'll just be mm-hmm. killing your time just uh, use your textbooks in the last 3 months just as a reference point and just stick to mocks i saw your notes so fine neurophilia notes i was very yeah. impressed you have made notes of all the fine neurophilia classes i was taking yeah. even i didn't have such a kind of huge collection so how do, should they like very important now huh? because you uh, i have a habit of just seeing and just forgetting things uh, yes. so how should like during the final year or maybe during the preparation how should they be making the notes actually uh, i had started watching uh, fine neurophilia actually after my july aims exam okay so actually i'd got uh, a few very uh, uh, you know very very uh, commonly asked questions wrong and then i started watching uh, sir's videos and i realized that uh, all those questions were there in his videos so then i was like you know i used to watch fine neurophilia religiously and i used to like note down every single word like uh, what sir used to say and uh, it eventually became a practice and i i think i've compiled a lot of pages a lot of pages of fine neurophilia and fine neurophilia is highly recommended i mean you will uh, get all the repeat questions right you know like it's an excellent revision tool so uh, wh- how i had taken notes is so i used to keep uh, sir's video and i used to have my ipad and there's this app called uh, good notes it's an excellent uh, note taking app and i used to like you know like keep on uh, taking the notes pausing whenever i had to and uh, i used to keep the notes and uh, towards the end i had made a huge compilation of all the fine neurophilia notes and it was like that's that's only thing i used to read before the, the day before the exam so uh, fine neurophilia is a must it's uh, i think those who have uh, used it and uh, cracked this exam will be able to Will surely agree with what I have said. So. Yeah, I think uh, I got lots of messages, but I think the most like uh, I got uh, evidence now since you <laughs> showed me the evidence. I wanted I, to send it to you after it was done, sir. So actually, I had a rough copy of it. So I, I think I sent sir just uh, two days back. So I had compiled everything and I just uh, sent it to sir. So I think he was happy with it. So yeah, I was definitely because uh, we are doing like uh, for one class we have to spend nearly one week. because we we need we shouldn't teach anything wrong na because some yes. something wrong i am very worried like some wrong message goes it's not uh, students are alone watching some seniors also would be watching so we are scrutinized right. and uh, giving a wrong message it's like it's like one question you go wrong na the ranks would come down 
and it's not like it's also concepts not just questions so it it it, it matters to the patient also uh, so it's a big thing which i am saying so i just read i i not alone the textbook reference also is being done during this time just two weeks into uh, next uh, neat uh, yes. how how should they approach because some people would be have uh, partially prepared i am making full use of you <laughs> because i cannot make a separate video i will have less of yeah, time it's, it's my I, pleasure sir uh, yeah so um, i think 7 days would be enough for neuro revision sir uh, so if you are having two weeks left keep one week for revising pediatrics and general medicine the remaining la- the last 7 days should only be for neuro and don't forget please also do read pediatric neuro since uh, neurology and uh, pediatric neurology are club specialties in need assess there will be a significant i think uh, kunjus's class was 3 uh, i think there are almost 3 uh, three, three. Three hours of readers no, sir I yeah think so. yeah 3 so i think if you go through that it's more than enough so just go through that it's more than enough last 7 days just neuro neuro don't acquire any new information just revise whatever notes you have uh, whatever you have taken just go through that uh, avoid acquiring new stuff in this so uh, don't keep it simple the last 7 days should be simple just revise the facts that you are already well versed with uh, but uh, the problem is that uh, pediatrics nobody would have just uh, touched on so yes. fine neurophilia kunyusa's class um, as kind of uh, it has more lots of questions i i, I just checked in i think it uh, numbers up to 200 so but uh, you are saying that last minute if you take up something new you will be more confused like theory part theory part so, but i think most of the uh, most of the uh, candidates who are uh, preparing for neat ss would have read pediatric neuro so okay okay so they can uh, at least go through the videos as a revision too i'm sure most of them would have gone through it so considering the fact that last neat ss was uh, flooded with pediatric neuro questions okay. so uh, uh, what so uh, uh, while uh, re- telling regarding the mistakes Uh, during, not during preparation, but that I have covered in lots of videos. Uh, while writing the exam, um, what do you think? Or what are the mistakes? Yeah, they get a good good night sleep, sir. Good yeah, <laughs> that's the most. That I advise every <laughs> before every exam. Only uh, thing I advise is get a good night sleep. Yeah. Good night sleep, sir. A wholesome breakfast. Okay. You have to be your best on that day. Okay. Because uh, you probably many many people must be studying for one or two years. Sir. Okay. It's finally a one day match. Yeah. So that one day you it should be the best version of you. Just don't get anxious. People mainly make mistakes and get anxious. Okay. So just attend the exam with a cool head. I think uh, that, that should be more. Important. Yeah, that's what. Like we already have this MD medicine, MD pediatrics at our yeah. hands. Nothing to lose. And uh, yeah, we have nothing to lose. <laughs> Even if you don't get neurology or don't become neurologist at this point of time, maybe future you can. So yes, you have your career is safe. so don't worry hello uh, tense up and all during the exam and regarding time management any advice in ess was uh, were you able to complete in time uh, sir actually this in ess was uh, a little lengthy yeah because uh, usually aims question papers are one worders sir huh. usually most of it most of the times it's one worders but uh, this time there were a lot of long stem questions which uh, required a lot of you know like reading through the lines and uh, aims is very famous for you know like putting things in the line putting very closely spaced options so you have to read it will take this senior ss paper is very time consuming so okay. much more lengthier than the, pre- than yeah. the previous ones i came to know that because uh, you uh, like you and many other students had helped me compile few questions uh, yes. not compile me kind of recollected questions yes. so from that uh, we came to know like how the questions were no? it's it's unable to, we have finding we are finding it difficult even uh, recall, recall the questions yeah recall, recall the questions the recall the options so and uh, i think uh, everyone who are planning to do right in ess next time should see the two videos which were put up in the last two weeks that is the end of 2021 i think almost all of the neurology has been covered what is your opinion I think 50, 52 questions yeah. have been covered completely. Most of it, sir. Most, Most of, of it. Sir. Only medicine part is remaining. Only 30 questions. Yes. 80 questions, right? 80 questions. 80, sir. 80. 80 questions. Question. One mark for the positive. One mark and minus one by three, sir. Minus one by three for the negative. Uh, no mark if you don't opt. Yes. And uh, uh, time is actually how many hours for the questions? Uh, one and a half hours. Uh, mm. So it amounts to 75 minutes for 80 questions. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, 75 minutes for 80 questions. Yes. Okay, four four choices would be there. It is lengthy, sir. I think uh, this paper till the last minute I was 
I was uh, attending questions. So last time it wasn't like that. I think I finished twenty minutes in advance. What did your friends say about the exam? In this is tough, sir. I think universally most of the people found it tough because the general medicine part was tough. Sir. Okay. Neurology, okay. the there were easy questions, straightforward questions, but there were also little tricky uh, questions also. Sir. Uh, there are e, 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 I think EEGs uh, or MRIs were there, no? MRIs. Uh, yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. There were. There were MRIs. Some, MRI, some fundus picture. I think neuro is very important, sir. Yeah, neuro. Neuro please. Uh, I think no one should neglect. I think they should yeah. uh, revise all the extracular movements. It's uh, neuro is. I think the significant amount of questions that come from that. Sir. Yeah, I got many requests regarding a neuro class, yeah, <laughs> which I. It's very difficult for me to. Uh, yeah, I will ask somebody, yeah, some uh, yeah, professors. Find it helpful. I'll ask. With this video, I can tell, ask somebody to help students. Uh, yeah, it will be very helpful for everyone. So. Yeah. Final advice: How to prepare? I. It's not just for any SS. I would say, uh, for anyone aspiring to be a neurologist. Uh, my first advice is to be a good physician, sir. Yes, very good. So don't chase books. Don't chase exams. When you're joined your medicine residency. Enjoy your med- medicine residency, sir. Whole. You know, you're a, you're a physician first before being a neurologist. So. Exams come later, sir. Exams, yeah. you'll be able to do it. And um, I think neurology is a subject which can be taken only by those who truly love it, sir. It should not be an adjustment branch. Yeah. You know, like, uh, especially for those who might have put neurology in their second option in ETSS. I think neurology should be, it's it's meant only for those who truly love it, sir. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's, what I, that's what I feel, sir. And uh, first will... a physician before being a neurologist, sir. Okay. And during uh, preparation, uh, what, what do you think they should start? Uh, uh, if MD students are listening, I, even I have M- MBBS students asking me how, how to become you know, MBBS students. They are asking like. Uh, I think everyone's uh, chasing the exams. Sir. I think yeah. it's become the trend now. So yeah, yeah. I that's don't blame them. I think that's how everything has become. So, so. Yeah, even like, you know, no, IIT coaching starts at uh, first standard, so that is the trend that is following. So that's it's just trend. it reflects onto yes. us. Uh, so that's just happening. Uh, but uh, this, as you rightly said, uh, becoming a good doctor and good physician should be our top priority. Yes, yes. Everything yes. else will fall in pl- place. It will, sir. It will, sir. Okay. I think one year of preparation is, would be enough, sir. Okay. One year will be, I think from your, uh, when, you, when, you, when you start your final year, I think that will be the ideal uh, time to start. Okay. One year is uh, more than enough, sir. Congratulations once again. Okay. So all the best uh, and all, you, all your future ventures and life ahead. And say hi to Sarah also. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Okay. Sure. Take care. Thank you. Sure.